Welcome to Belina Crochets. This podcast is about crocheting, having fun, and playing with yarn. Hello to new and returning viewers. This is episode 11 for the month of August, a continuation of Summer Tops. I will show you finished objects, some works in progress, and some new yarn acquisitions. So let's begin. What am I wearing? I am wearing the Cinnamon Stitches Summer Breeze Tank Top. This was based on her tutorial that she did. I um, finished the top, so this is the top here, where I used double crochet. In her video, she uses half double crochet. I used um, half, I mean, sorry, I used double crochet with the Lion brand, I'm sorry, with the Bernat yarn. So I used Softy Cotton Bernat yarn in white and a mixture of blue and white, which is called Refresh. And this took about three balls of the Bernat and Refresh and then one in the white trim that I did. Here, I think it came out really nice. On the top, what I did is, in her videos, she gives you estimates. So my the second top I will show you was a little bit bigger than this one. This one, I reduced it by 100 stitches around, I'm sorry, I created 100 stitches around the neck and then went from there. And I think the next time I make this top, I will shorten the rows just a little bit to have less room under here. So instead of doing 14 stitches, I might, for, sorry, 14 rows, I'll probably end up doing about 12 rows and then bring the arms together quicker. But I think it turned out really nice. It has a flowy feel. I think it will look really nice with a pair of leggings or um, a nice long dress to put over it. So I think it came out nice. So the next top that I created, we're using the same pattern is this one here, which I show I showed these two in the last video, but I completed this one also. This one's a little bit longer and I'll post a picture so that you can see it. But because this was bigger and I started with 130 stitches, it didn't look right as a short top, so I had to make it a little bit longer so that I could have the flowy feel on the top. And the yarns that I used were Ice Cream Cotton Blend from Lion Brand. And this is lemon, so I used three of these. So this is how the lemon looks. And it was a really nice yarn to work with. It's nice and soft. It's a mixture of cotton and acrylic yarn together. And then I end up using the ZZ Twist in pumpkin. And I couldn't find this anymore because it was discontinued. So I had to find another color similar to that. So I went to Lion Brand and I decided to use their Pima Cotton Lion Brand in Spice. So this is how much I had left from the ball to finish the top. So once again, this is the top. As you can see, the light color is the ZZ Twist and the dark one on the bottom is the um, Pima Cotton. That concludes my finished objects, the two tops. I wanted to make sure I finished those. And now I'm working on some new tops and I will show you what I'm working on now. So one of the tops that I'm working on is made with this Cheap Jazz yarn, right? This is the um, Wooly Whirl. So it's a mixture of 70% cotton and 30% wool. And this color is called Chocolate. And so I decided, I know in the previous thing, I probably was gonna make a show, but I decided to make a top. So I'm working on the top now. So this is the um, top here. I still gotta finish the, the side on this side here for the top, but this is how it's gonna look. I think it came out nice with the colors. And then I should have enough to complete the back. So I'm gonna leave it as a tank top. And this one is really nice, it's nice and thin. You can really see the stitch definitions in the shell stitch and in the double crochet. So 
So I'm looking forward to finish that. This is, um, takes a while because the yarn is so thin, as you can see. The yarn is really thin, so it's taking me a while to um, crochet with it. I'm using a um, C hook with this yarn. So the next top that I'm working on is from this yarn company called To The Match Yarn Company. The reason I purchased this yarn was that I like to watch um, the Grocery Girls Knit podcast, and this is their yarn from their company. So I wanted to try it out to see how it worked. So I got this one in fingering weight. This is Fruit Punch. And I got this one, another finger weight in Chili Peppers. This is a variegated yarn also, but this is a DK weight and I wanted to see how it worked up. So this is one of the balls of yarn that I use in DK weight, which has less yardage than the um, Sport weight. And the colors came out really nice. The yarn is nice and soft and I enjoyed working with it. So I'm gonna continue working this as a top and then I will show you in the next video. I'm using single crochet and double crochet in the top, but I love the colors and how they um, spread out and how they um, create a design on the top. Another project that I'm working on is involving Lion Brand yarn. I decided, because I love this yarn, um, to work with the jeans lion brand yarn and this one's a little hard to find sometimes but this is a dark color but i was using the classic color and i decided to use this yarn and mix it with 24 7 cotton and beautifully you yarn so here i created this square here which i'm going to turn into a top as you can see, I did some tapestry crochet, but in this one here, the outer edge is another four-ply worsted weight yarn in maroon because Lion Brand didn't have it. The closest color they had was um, Pound of Love, but that was too dark, so I decided to just find another um, four-ply acrylic yarn to create this um, square, which I'm gonna make, which is gonna be a top. And then I love the yarn so much with the combination, I decided that. I would make some earrings. So I'm working on some earrings now. This is it here. So on this one here, you can see that I used all three. The 24-7 cotton, the Beautifully You, and the jeans yarn. And I think it came out nice. So what I did is I found a, a, a wooden square, and I'm just working around the outside. And I'll probably do a tutorial on this one so you can make one for yourself. So another project that I'm working on is a smaller project. I decided to make some earrings using these um, plastic rings that I purchased from Joann's. And these are the earrings I started to work with using um, cotton yarn. So I just crocheted around them in single crochet and then I did a row of single crochet. So now I'm ready to add, to cut the strings and weave them in and then to add the earring piece so that I can wear them. Here's the first one and here's the other one. I think they came out nice. The yarn came out really nice. And the cotton yarn usually takes really well when creating something over the um, bone rings. Right, that concludes my work in progress. Let me share with you some yarn acquisitions. I purchased some yarn after watching um, Crystal Bag of Day and her yarn purchases. I decided to purchase some yarn from Lovecraft. So here are the yarns that I purchased from Lovecraft. So the first one that I purchased is, everybody was using these paint box yarns, so I decided that I wanted to try it, and I decided to get like the cotton ones to see, because they're really small, and since it's still summertime, I can crochet something with it. So I have this color here, and this is a sparkle color, metallic, DK. And the color on this one is Woo Woo. There was a movie, Woo Woo, with um, Jada Pinkett starring in it. So this is Woo Woo. This is orange. This is peach orange. And this is Tequila Sunrise. And it looks really nice. This is a yarn. This is a mixture of orange and pink. It looks really nice. This is another metallic one. So you can see here. So I'm mixing all of them together to create a nice top. I think it will come out really nice. Other yarns that I purchased from Lovecraft are this raffia yarn. I purchased it because I wanted to make a summer hat. As you can see on the wrapper, so I'm going to try to recreate that hat 
with this yarn. The next one is a gold yarn that I purchased. Whenever I can find gold yarn, I love purchasing it because I love making stuff with gold, especially when you can find gold yarn that you can just create straight without adding additional yarn because it becomes itchy. So I always look, um, look to buy yarn that I can find like that. So this one I probably combine with something because it's so thin. Maybe another gold yarn or a different color. And the last one I have is Cascade from Cascade Yarns, Anthem Yarns. And this is 100% acrylic, but I love the colors in here. It looks like fall colors. I can't wait to use this one. This one is nice. The next yarn acquisition is from Lion Brand. Lion Brand was having a sale and I couldn't pass up this sale. They were having a sale on 24-7 cotton and I decided I would create a full top. So the yarns that I purchased were um, this 24-7 cotton in Dragonfly, Amber, e -crew, Tangerine, and then I have some of this Goldenrod, so I will add it to the, um, the top that I'm creating. So these are the colors here together. I think they look really nice together to create a top. I might add some maroon in it, so I might have to get another 24-7 um, cotton in maroon. But one last thing I'm working on is Lion Brand's Hat Not Hate campaign. I decided that I would create some hats. So this is one of the hats that I finished. And this is using um, Red Heart Blue Yarns. So I'm gonna create some more like this and I decided that I would switch up the colors using different acrylic yarns that I have in the house. So here are some of the crowns that I'm working on now for the hats. And then I'll probably create about 10 or 11 hats for them because I think the deadline is September 13th. And then I'm gonna use some of the um, Pound of Love from Lion Brand to finish some of the hats. I think it's a beautiful campaign, you know, to help kids to stamp out bullying. And I just love helping different um, charities and organizations that benefit children. So this is one of the ones that I'm glad to participate in. That concludes this episode. Thank you for watching. And remember, no yarn is off limits when crocheting. Have a great day.